When it comes to sports in Lorraine, your station to watch is TV20, Lorraine City Schools Television. Good evening and welcome to George Daniel Field. It's week four of the high school football season. Jay Ferguson, Henry Patterson here tonight to bring you the game between the homestanding Lorraine Titans one and two on the year and Football North from Clarkson, Ontario, also one and two on the year. And this has got to beginning to be a common uh, opponent for the Titans. Third year in a row this team has wandered down from Canada. They've split the first two. This Football North team promises to be as good as anybody on Lorraine's schedule tonight, Henry, and welcome, by the way. Thank you. You know, there's no doubt about that. There's, they're one and two, but they have played and lost to some powerhouses, one out of uh, Cathedral Prep out of Pennsylvania, and Menor. they played tough, so we'll see what the Titans can do onside kick. Bouncing ball, just discretion, I think. Picked up by... <laughs> By a Clarkson player that's not on the roster. Yeah, that's a helpful 16. <laughs> <laughs> Brought down there at about the 35 yard line. And we're underway. Clarkson will be moving from north to south. You know, Jay, it's a beautiful weather night for football. It cooled down just in time. Yep, number 14, Quincy Vaughn is the quarterback and I'm glad of it. <laughs> Marion Martin, number one, is next to him, the running back. And I believe he's a sophomore. We saw a lot last of him last year. year. Oh, wow. Receivers two to each side. Like so many other teams out of the gun. Now up under center is Quincy Vaughn dropping back. Both linebackers showing inside blitz. Snap back. He wants to throw. Titan got free. Uh -oh. It's got a man oh. overthrew. Ooh. Overthrew number 18, Jalen Beckford. Tyshawn Lighty a step behind there. Yeah. For Lorraine, 75, Lavi McAfee off the uh, nose got through and put some pressure on. He is the nose man. He's got 97, Oziah Jenkins, and oh no, he's on the end, 14, Dylan, Dylan Blakely. Blakely over the ball. Again, tightens up tight to the line. I think they want to make this team throw the ball. <laughs> One of the bigger lines you'll see in high school football. And that's a surprise, Jay, because last year they ran very effectively behind that massive line. Yep. Three receivers to the left. He's going to throw it again out to the short side. Nice pitch and catch. Square out in front of number 10, Devontae Jackson. That's Nathan Montan Montanic. Montanic, I think we're going to go with. We're going to get rid of the G. That's what's messing me up. First and 10 at the 45 for football north. Well, it's early, Jay, but so far, you know, they ran much, much more last year. So far, we've seen his passes. Michael Smith, 52, puts a hand on the ground now. And Esteban Masari up and in and out of the gap. Savon Chavis and Jalen Cheers are the outside backers. Again, a lot of cushion for DeMont. Montanic, and he's got eight yards yeah. on a quick out in front of Devontae Jackson, the lone man on this side of the field. What they're doing is they're loading up the far side with three receivers, mm -hmm. and they're taking the easy pitch and catch out yeah. here as Jackson has to respect. And that was the exact same play from last time, so it's right. smart until, until Marine can do something about it. Charlton now in at inside nice linebacker. Fake. There's a uh oh. On the uh, inside release on the slant. Well, Jay, that one, that play action was very effective. I thought he had it, and then he pulled it up and uh, put nice, nice slant uh, catch. Uh, that's what good football teams do. Tyshawn Lighty saving a touchdown as Jalen Beckford had a little bit of a easy release on the inside due to the play action. Same formation, now two to each side. Martin, the blocking back thus far. <laughs> As Vaughn maybe changes the play and they go to a, there's a there's zone a Martin read. Run. Martin makes a man miss. Yeah. Oh, and wow. he's down inside the 10. It's going to be first and goal when they unstack. 
And Jay, that's what I remember last year. It was just a steady zone, a steady dose of Martin. He'd get behind those big linemen, and he's just so shifty, kind of like a Barry Sanders kind of back. He's dancing he back there. He popped <laughs> out from behind that line, and Michael Smith was right there, but didn't see him until it was too late. Well, and then he, he he ran with a couple defenders. He runs yeah. hard. I mean, he's just not shifty. He looks he's like he's about 5'8". <laughs> uh, you might be generous and, on that And one. I'm being nice <laughs> on football terms, which means he's 5'5". Five, five. Vaughn now rolls this way. This is just a straight-out keep. And Vaughn cut down inside the five by Devontae Jackson, who submarined him down to the one where it'll be second and goal. Well, Jay, it's just smart, it's smart play because, again, you know, Lorraine's got to be concerned about the pass. So because they're respecting the pass, no one can step up for that run, so it's going to be there. 10-14 to go first quarter, and this has just been surgical. Straight ahead. And into the end zone from one yard out is Omarion Martin. With 10.05 to go in the first quarter, Football North takes the opening kickoff and 65 yards later ends up in the house. And now they'll... Looks like the offense stays out. Which... Again, surprising. I remember last year, the, uh, their place kicker was incredible. He was kicking them from 50 yards in the warm-ups. So. Vaughn has a fully loaded backfield in the gun now. Uh -oh, and they botched. They wanted to throw, and no. they did. That was, <laughs> that was a nicely designed play to Malik Williams. Yeah. Uh, it looked almost like they missed a handoff. I, they did, absolutely. There's no doubt about it. And, again, the challenge was, you know, no one – no one stepped up to challenge number 14, the quarterback. Right. And again, but, you know, uh, he got to the flat. And you got a good quarterback. He puts the ball in the money. And they mixed it up really nicely. I think the Titans came out expecting to see run. They got passed. And then as they adjusted, Clarkson adjusted the other way. What they have, Jay? What, maybe two incomplete passes? I know the one long incomplete pass. But and the I mean, one on the side. Yeah. No, the one on the sideline was caught. Yeah, so it's maybe one incomplete, one incomplete pass. They were pass. very efficient. And again, uh, good Good throws. Uh, you know, the challenge is if you're going to give him a cushion, I mean, uh, he's thrown, he can throw the ball effectively. So far, it's early, but that was, you're right. When you said surgical, that was a surgical uh, uh, score there. There's no doubt about it. Now they'll put it in play from the 40. Making the officials making sure you got five on each side of the ball, mm -hmm. which is the rule now. And they go to the hash mark, short side, long side. Number nine, Dawson Dodges is going to put it in play. Deep are Lighty and Dower. Looking for them to break one of the house here. We haven't seen that yet, and we know they have the potential. It's week four, and Tyshawn Lighty hasn't scored. Wow. He's got it now on the four. Lighty straight ahead. Cuts it up. Makes a move out to about the 25 or 26 yard line. And what both Tyshawn and Dalen have brought to the return game this year is the concept that you get one move. And they've been very patient <laughs> mm -hmm. in looking for that one move and then assertive in making the move straight down the field. Well, for the Titans, Jordan Jackson will be the quarterback. You'll have Lighty and Chavis in the backfield. Devontae Jackson, Tyshawn Lighty, and Cameron Thomas are the wideouts. On the line, 75, Lobby McAfee is the center. We'll get the rest after the first play. Snap straight ahead, give. Not much there for Dower. Maybe a yard. 66, Colin Thomas. 74, beyond Belcher Smith are the tackles. 54, Santino Torres and Isaac Samara are the guards. Second down and we'll call it nine. Because we're at home. Straight back, this is Lighty with a little bit of room to run. Makes a move outside the 25 to the 27. It'll be third down and four. And so far, the Titans coming out in that two-back set. Um, and there's what they have to take advantage of. Is we had a Clarkson player lose his helmet, and we're not sure if it's a contact lens situation. As he was looking around, 
Now, the first thing you do, I'm not a contact lens wearer, but the first thing you do, I think, is you check the eye. <laughs> That's what the trainer's doing now, Jay, so I think. 35, Jaden Griffiths, the linebacker, is down. Titans again going into battle without their starting center, the sophomore Jacob Addis. Had a shoulder issue. He'll be cleared to play next week. That was a, that happened against Avon, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Titans back out. Clarkson back out. 9-12 to go, first quarter. 8-0 Clarkson. You know, unfortunately, this Clarkson roster just lists name and position. <laughs> I'd love to see heights and weights, even if they were in kilograms. <laughs> Jackson's alone with Chavis back there on third down. Draw play. Oh. Uh, they were ready for that. Mm. Number seven, Rainings Awa, rained on our parade, and it'll be fourth down back at the 27. Now, here's what I can tell you. The Titans, I don't believe, have punted yet this year. No, they've uh, they've punted, uh, I know, at least three times. Devontae Jackson can Has punt. He, he, had a, he did have a, a very nice t a punt against Brunswick. Okay. He had, yeah, I, I do He's recall that. He's at the game, the Brunswick Esteban, game. Esteban Masari is the long snapper. He, he did last year's JV, so. We're short a man. Now Chavis comes back in. They're missing the, the protector on the far side. Dalen Dower is the up man. Snap away, ball partially oh, blocked. Oh, there's going to be a flag on the. Oh, oh. yeah. He wow, ran. this is this is a break for the Titans yep. if they call this a, a roughing, because I thought he got part of the ball. We'll have to uh, look close on the replay. It, yeah, I looked at it. There might have been an acting job, but it looked like he ran right into him, Jay. There's no doubt about that. The concern is well, I, Devontae Jackson does a lot of stuff on this team. I mean, he's a receiver. Here's the replay, Jay. Well, okay. I don't know. Maybe he was kicking it around the. Uh, Anyhow, the personal foul, it, it's not a oh. personal foul. They called running into the kicker. Something for everyone, I guess. Well, they better do a better job on that coverage because he came off of that NJ and no one touched now this, him. Now the offense is coming back out. Well, that it's either confidence in your offense or... A lack well, of confidence in your, in your snap and kick game, Jay. The jo Jordan Jackson has punted from this formation many times. Mm -hmm. and he's up a little bit close for that. But going to throw the out pattern to Dalen Dower. Makes a move and caught behind the line. Mm -hmm. And that's as good as Dalen Dower's been tackled in three years. Yeah, that was a solid open field tackle, there's no doubt about it. Didn't ever give him a chance. No. And uh, there's some speed on the corner. There's no. I mean, yep. he didn't have a chance to make a move, and he was you know, very skilled. So... Now, Clarkson takes over on downs at the Lorraine 29. And in nightmare scenario land, this couldn't be much worse. Already down 8 0. Uh, Lorraine n needs a stop here against Clarkson. And quite honestly, Clarkson's had him bum fuddled. Mm -hmm. Vaughn looks over to the sideline. Martin scored the touchdown on the only time he handled the ball, I believe. Oh, it's from one yard, though. Straight back. Charlton chases. Charleston got, got blocked, and there's going to be a clip behind the line. Mm -hmm. Pass incomplete out of bounds. Chavis was on the coverage of Beckford. There's an illegal block mm -hmm. signal against Clarkson. And in Charlton, he's been he's been putting some pressure on so far. That, I mean, that's been a, been a good thing. So it was nice uh, that uh, that's fortunate for the Titans. Push him back. I'm really proud of Latrell Charlton coming out as a senior mm -hmm. in, in – Staying with it and and making you know some you know the lineup in a difference. Mm -hmm. Now spot of the foul penalty, so big wow. march off back to the 47. Need the 19 for a first down, so it's first and 28. That's actually about as far as the uh, first punt traveled. So yeah, that's about where it went out of bounds. <laughs> Again, the spread, two receivers to each side. Bigger back in now. I can't get a number. 26. Six. Malik Williams. Malik oh, he's Williams, the man that scored the extra point. He's in there to block. Quick uh -oh. out, caught. Beat one man. And Lighty and Charlton run him down, but he got 15 back. It's going to be second and 12. Jay, again, that I'm not sure if that's by design, but if you're going to play that, that soft zone all night, they're going to take eight. Now he picked up, what, 14 on that play? 15. <laughs> 
and, and he had uh, ten of them, you know, almost before he got touched. Yeah. S give straight ahead. Stiff arm, oh, but go. nicely done by the defensive. I'm not sure if it's the linebacker or the end. It's it's Charlton again. Yeah, it was Che Charles on the, no, on the carry. No, you know what? It's Jalen Cheers, 33, not 22. Yeah. And that was uh, Che Charles on the carry that time. We haven't seen him. Okay, so they lost a couple. Sets up third and 15. Vaughn still with the single setback. Still number 23, Charles. Twins to each side as they get the play from the sidelines. Straight back over the middle. Got a man. Oh. Jackson on the tackle, but not until it's inside the 10. Braden Misery. And again, they put the corner back out on an island by just keeping the inside man short. Yep. And they occupied the safeties with the far side. Again, crisp routes and a quarterback that delivers the ball on the money in stride. That was a nice, that was a nice throw. Well, He's the, the line is so effective that you can't get pressure with just well, your normal front. Either. We had some outside, but again, there was a nice block in the back. Straight back. Oh. Ducked under and then missing a wide open. Well, Charles. That was the pressure. I guess that was Cameron Thomas yep. that got in there again. I, I thought he was going to get him, and he kind of pulled over, maybe got a little gun shy and <laughs> got rid of that ball. Cam Thomas back in as he sat out the first series defensively because he played offense. Also, Colin Thomas to the defensive line now. Cam is at linebacker. Second goal from the nine. Juan's got him set. Pulls it out. Pass into the end zone. Lighty got a hand on the receiver, and then there's a late hit. Now... I saw the one that knocked the Titan down. Oh. Now, if that's a dead ball, it's on 97. Mitchell Pry or uh, 97. Oz Oziah Jenkins just got kind of. Well, the whistle had blown a long time <laughs> yeah. before before he got knocked down. Here we'll see it, and I don't know if the camera will will stay with it that long. Pulled it out. Now it's still now it's happening right now. Yep. He got up and then got sent back to the turf. So the personal foul in, in dead ball makes it fourth down. Wow. Because the down counted. Well. Now what? From the 9 to the 24 is right. If I'm the Titans, again, I'm worried about the middle of that field because they've been picking up chunks of yard. Right. And, I mean, fortunately, it's, it's in goal. Now they the, the, that causes them to change up. Now, they don't do placements on extra points, but number <laughs> number 19, Zachary Fristaglio, is going to come in and try a 40-yard field goal out of Braden Masseri's hold. Interesting. Timeout, Clarkson. Or was it? You think they don't want to try it in yards? They want to try it in meters because it sounds shorter? <laughs> and actually what the kicker is, uh, Zachary Fristaglio. Yep. He's the smallest man on the roster. I'll guarantee that. Again, Jay, again, I was on the sidelines for the Titans last year doing special teams, and I just I did not see a better kicker all year. Yeah. Uh, again, at one, they didn't have a place kicker. They didn't have anyone to kick off last year, and so at one point he was kicking off with a, a three-step and was almost putting him to the end yep. zone. <laughs> but no now, doubt. I don't know what that was all about. Is it wasn't a charge timeout for anybody. Oh, it's back to third down, so apparently something Oh, maybe that's yeah. what they were asking about. Was it a dead ball or not? So that maybe that penalty was not considered dead ball, and it's third and 24. Mm -hmm. But in Canada, you only get three downs. <laughs> and again, they have a Canadian football team. This is the American mm -hmm. football team that they have up there at football night. Vaughn is straight back with all kinds of time. He's got an out man. Bobbled and caught at the 12. Number two, Nathan DeMont Montanic. It's going to bring up fourth and goal, but much more doable. Got half. 
Now that, at some point, two things are going to happen. Number one is the Titans are going to tighten up on that corner. Oh, now they're going to kick. Mm -hmm. So back to the same thing for Staglio. This 29. time from the 19-yard line, a 29-yard attempt. Snap back. Not a good snap. Slow snap, but it didn't matter. Kick was high and far. And two possessions, two scores with clock still running for some <laughs> reason. 5.28 to go in the first quarter. For Staglio, number 19. Has a 29-yard field goal, well, Jay, I, th I think the reason why they didn't go for it that first time, if you saw that snap, it wasn't much of a snap. It looked like a knuckleball coming out. It, so yes. that was, that was, I think, was the concern. The kick wasn't – it was a solid kick. You know, he's got, he got a little leg. But I think their concern was on the snap. I don't know if you if you saw it, and I think it was two weeks ago that the, uh, the kicker from St. Ignatius oh. had two over 50. Well, I, I think he kicked a 57-yarder, yeah. 56 a win. Yeah. Oh, that was an incredible – that was against uh, Hoban, right? Yes, it was. That, that, they were down at the half. I remember watching that. And and, uh, yeah, and Hoban, again, pound for pound, is one of the best teams in Ohio. Broke so. their 31-game <laughs> winning streak. I, surprised. And I just wonder if they just kind of lulled. They just sat back and they were up almost three scores. And that's what ha happens yep. in high school. I guess a good football team. They didn't quit. And right. There's something to be said for not quitting. Well, these guys will see Ignatius later, as they always do. Dodges will put it in play. He handles the kickoffs and perhaps the punting, as it indicated on the roster. High end over end kick. It's going to be Lighty at the four, five, ten. What a what a mm. weapon a high long kickoff is yeah. in high school football. It's perfect. Again, you know, getting the ball at the the 16 yard line, giving the coverage team plenty of time to get down there. And, again, looking at special teams, Clarkland does a very good job. They're very disciplined in their lanes, and they broke down perfectly. You know, Lighty didn't have a lane to bounce back in. He tried, and he kind of slipped right. on the turf. This is, you know, for those of you not unfamiliar with Clarkson, this is not a community school. This is Football North is how they build themselves, and they are a boarding school um, for Canadians who are interested in playing American football in college, and they travel down here to be seen. Um, I've made some college visits and with kids and seen Clarkson players making the same one. Jackson keeps, rolls, running for his life now. Oh, gets, gets the away. corner. He's got five. He's got seven or eight. And lives to fight. Out of bounds, they're going to call him at the 26. So give him seven, and it'll be second and three. You know, again, if, if Jordan can make great plays with his feet, that's going to help us out tremendously. I, I worry sometime about Jordan. Sometimes he, there are times I wish he'd throw the ball away. And again, easier said from the sidelines. Right. But, uh, but it's also easier going that way to throw it away than it is to, to his, his left. left. Absolutely. But that, and that's been the, and you know, the hard part is Jordan's such a gamer that he wants to try to make a play. And sometime by trying to make that extra effort, it doesn't work out. But he's, he's just a, a great athlete. There's no doubt about it. A heck of a football player, among other things. 81, Jamarian Harkness into the lineup and going to get a block on the corner. Dower, Dower's going to get a first down. Knight ducked under a hit and out to about the 35 or 30. Let's give him the 37 where they mark and, him and out. And that's where Dower is so effective, Jake, because if you look there, it, he kind of stutter stepped and slowed his momentum, let the defender go by. He picked up another five yards. Those are those are things that very skilled, quite honestly, running backs that play at the next level do. And, and it done by feel. This, you know, he... he Limp legged him and then ducked under a hit, and you know that that's not something you teach. No, that's he, instinct. Well, well, again, since he was a ninth grader, I mean, yeah, he's been that talented. So there's no doubt about it. Straight ahead, Chavis. Nope, it's Dower again. Dower on the corner. He's got uh, three, four, five, six. Seven. Again, Jay. He picked up another four yards after contact. He runs so hard. Nice fake in Absolutely. the inside. Throws the backers. And then that's what got him around the corner past number seven. Runs now so Harkness hard. coming out, and the Titans are set. Still the full house backfield. Pitch to Chavis, and he's got nothing. No. And that's where the hesitation doesn't get you anything. And that's 
And Jay, and I, I also think that was a little bit too deep. I think he needed to have more of an attack angle because it kind of gave the defensive tackle an opportunity to, to get to him. Jason Brown, the tackle on the left tackle on that play, the defensive end just outflanked him. Yeah. And got you know got the contain that he is supposed to get, and that's a tough block when that man is outside of you like that for that particular play call. Snap back. Lighty on a reverse, cuts it up. Lighty going to have the first down out to the 48. He, too, finished the run. Jay, again, Lighty's instincts are just so – he sees lanes that most people don't see. And and what I've – again, if you watch the Titans all year, every single play with Lighty and Dower, but particularly with Lighty, you, they could take it to the house, Jay, almost any Oh, time. absolutely. I mean, look at that. There was nothing – there were plenty yeah. of defenders. He and just he, knew that he could outquick 97 Mitchell Price. That wasn't even an issue. Now we have a whistle on the field and a timeout. Titans will come over. 3.37 to go. The rather unusual 11 to nothing score <laughs> for Clarkson. And the Titans will huddle it up. You know, second possession here for Lorraine. They seem to have at least found something and and what's it been it's been the quickness yeah oh i mean there again you you got to go with your horses and there's no doubt that they have them you know and, and again the, the challenge is is jordan jackson making good decisions and uh and i i know the the way that mcfarland plays and is that he you know for years he said you know i've got to give my kids a chance to make the right decisions they every package that they generally set up they have four or five options and it's up right. to jordan so again how many times have we seen jordan pull that ball and then kick it out and you know as as, as mac would always say you let, you know generally the kid gets it right 80 percent of the time well he's got the look to know first off jordan jackson will decide run or pass right now yep he's looking over the defense and you know he's got bump and run up top on Devonte jackson and they hit a couple last year, if that or last week, if that's what they want. Instead, he goes to Lighty on the near side. No, Dower. Dower, rather, excuse me. Across the 45 and down to the 42. Excuse me, Dalen Dower. And Jay, again, that's just that's a smart way to play because the challenges are so big in in the, in the middle of the field. We're not having right. a lot of success, so you wanna you wanna bait them on the outside, and that might open it up on the You've inside. Got to stretch defenses horizontally anymore. Mm -hmm. As a, you know, that's well, what the spread is designed to do. It looks like a passing formation, but you've got all kinds of running lanes. They look at the size of that defensive yeah. front. I mean, they're, they're, those, aren't, those aren't small players whatsoever. Jackson pulls it out of Chavis. He's going to keep it. Jackson's down to the 35 and out of bounds. So give him six. Much, you know, again, I can recall last year, and again, we've got a lot of football to, came, to play, but last year the Titans came out and punched Clarkson in the mouth. If you guys I remember the first play, first uh, play was hook and ladder. <laughs> yeah. and, and, and what was interesting was little by little, they just kind of turned things around and methodically just got away. So, you know, I, I, it was real concern those first two drives, but uh, looks like the Titans have buttoned up. And, and this is the key, you know, on offense give that defense a chance to rest yes. and regroup, and we can hopefully keep having some success. Now we've got Harkness joining Dower and Jackson. And on the far side, Cam Thomas all alone at 6-4 here. He fakes it, and he wants the long one to Jackson. He's got him oh, out there, but over – oh, no. that was Dower. That was Dower. him. I thought that he faked it to Dower up short. Just a little bit more air under that is – Or a little bit more towards the sidelines. I think he kind of let him in, and that, and that was unfortunate because he let it towards the defender. So, but – So – I'll take that. Why it's not like on third and, and four? got to take a chance because I'm sure we're in – four down territory since we were on the first well, series. Second and four, right? Now we're at third and four. Right, third and four now, but I think we got two downs to pick it up. Jackson and Chavis, again, trips to the far side. Lighty and Dower over there with Jackson. Gives straight ahead, and that's just not there. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I, I mean, it, it may look like it X's and O's wise, it's just that their X's are so much bigger than our O's that, and I and I wonder if that was a call where that was a call play. We want you to run it up the gut for some reason because I just it wasn't. It, it just it, I, there, I didn't yeah. see a hole at all. I mean, it closed up instantly. I mean, he he met him a yard or two in the backfield. It, there was no chance for success on that play. I'm thinking that that's Robbie Keys Wilson on the nose, and he is a big man. <laughs> Seventy-seven. Dustin Croft isn't too small himself. No, he's a little bit bigger. 
full backfield. Now whistle, timeout, Lorraine. Killian would like to play once to reset. Now you, you've got to get five or six yards here to keep the drive going, but what you don't want to do is get greedy. You've been getting it in chunks. Okay, your last two plays have been uh, an incompletion and a loss of two, but you don't want to all of a sudden say we got to get it all right, you know, the, the touchdown right here. Let's try and move the sticks and, and go back to what was working. You know, and the scary part is, is that, you know, again, Clarkson is, they're well disciplined and, you know, they are playing uh, up on the receiver. So they're not, they're not, you know, the difference is they're not giving us a, an eight yard right. cushion. And so when Clarkson had long yardage, well, we were giving them seven, eight yards. Right. Clarkson, if they're pressing our receivers and they're kind of daring us to do stuff. And so far we're kind of one dimensional. What I mean by that is, we're not doing much up the middle. And right. so that allows, if the linebackers can cheat out a little bit because there's not much of a threat, that makes a challenge. Minute 54 to go, first quarter. Titans second possession. The first one ended in turnover on downs. Jackson looks to keep things going, rolling now. Now he's got some trouble. Swings it out, caught but out of bounds, and it'll be Clarkson's ball on downs at the 37-yard line. Jordan just ran out of room and side-armed it down, and Devontae Jackson was there on the sideline, just couldn't keep it on the right side of the stripe. Yeah, he tried, he kind of, uh, he was trying to direct, you know, Cam Thomas, this is his first real year as a receiver, and I could, he was trying to be play field general and get him to, to break his pass off down. I think Jordan yeah. wanted to go long, but he, he tried to hold it as long as he could. But, again, I'm, he made a good decision. If he was not going to complete the pass, it was going to be out of bounds, no chance right. for an interception. So that's, that's, that's a smart play. Number two, Tracy Williams in at defensive end along with Jenkins. Blakely over the ball. <laughs> now Williams is going to go out on this. Uh, oh, pick. Oh, my. Oh, that was a touch, <laughs> touchdown. And Chavis knocks him out of bounds as the. Uh, and what's incredible, that was Lighty that missed. Swinging gate. <laughs> Lighty missed that one. I was amazed because his timing is almost always impeccable. Yes. So the swinging gate goes across the 50, and by swinging gate we mean you had a formation out to the sideline. See, the Titans are lined up on the center. It's just the center of the quarterback and a blocking back. Oh. Lighty knew what was coming and just <laughs> mistimed it. First and 10 at the 47 for Clarkson. Now a more normal look. They got the Titans with the uh, trick play there. Near side, pitch out. Bubble screen didn't go anywhere. Lighty is there. Number five, Xavier Z Z Zatinley. Uh, I've got that wrong from what we uh, agreed on there, Mr. Patterson. <laughs> we'll go with it, though, Jay. Zatlinley. Zatlinley. It is quite the tongue twister, tw tongue twister today for the Clarkson team. Give straight ahead, oh, wow. big hole up the gut. Shoestring tackle by Lighty on Che Charles, and we'll move the sticks down to the 32. And he just had a head of steam, Jay, and there was no stopping him. So. We've played 11 minutes here, and if one thing's proven is that Clarkson can't be stopped <laughs> right now. I mean, we have not proven that we're able to. Well, uh, they've stopped himself again. The, right. the personal foul bailed us out. Um, Straight back, Vaughn on the out, just all kinds of a cushion. J and J the Mont Montanic is uh, out of bounds inside the 20 at the 18. Again, Jay, he's got a 10-yard cushion. I mean, I, I, quite honestly, he was surprised. He looked up and no one was there, and he said, yeah, he, if you're going to give me six more yards, I'll take it. Yeah, he, he was as open as Denny's. <laughs> <laughs> Again, Devontae's playing not, uh, seven yards off the ball. Give straight ahead, stood up in the ch cheers, got him dizzy enough that they both went down. I think there's another flag late. So this is going to either cost somebody half the distance or somebody 15. First, they'll spot the ball at the 10. 
I still have seen no indication whatsoever. It was from behind the defense. Both flags came in. Would be the umpire in the back. I judge. saw Isaiah Jenkins looking pretty frustrated. I'm not sure what happened, but dead ball, personal foul. That much we knew against the Titans. Dead ball both oh, ways. Oh. No What's harm, that? no foul. And it was after the play, so the play stands. So spot the ball at the 10, second down and about a yard, yard and a half. We've got five seconds to go in the first quarter. And that should, its clock is stopped on the penalty. So they'll wind the clock. Don't have to snap it here if they don't want to. They'll wind the clock. They won't wind the clock. <laughs> That's the end of the first quarter. We've played one at the George. Football North 11, Lorraine nothing. Back with second quarter action after this timeout. In an instant, life can change. Hi, I'm veteran J.R. Martinez. If you've been hurt or disabled due to your service, the last thing you need to do is hurry up and wait for a VA claims decision. Make sure you file an electronic, fully developed claim or e-claim for disability compensation on e-benefits. It's the fastest and easiest way to get a claims decision. Learn more at ebenefits.va.gov. E-claims and e-benefits, online VA claims made simple. I started mentoring in my mentee, Dantre, four years ago. I always thought about doing it, it always seemed like a good idea. We were both nervous when we first met, but we kind of, everything kind of fell into place. Mentoring is important to anyone that's pretty fortunate in life to have a little bit of time to pass on that knowledge. Etienne's a very close friend. I look at him as a brother and a father figure. He taught me just focus on the big picture because I would like to give back just like Etienne gave back to me. Be someone who matters to someone who matters. Back here, first play of the second quarter. Clarkson on a keeper, Vaughn is tackled at about the 15. Nice play there. Tracy Williams on the stop. Is it, it is yes. the sophomore, Tracy Williams. He has been exciting. I mean, the, the uh, speed and athleticism for a sophomore, he plays yes. great ball. I'm excited about what the future holds for him. Loss of about, you know, let's just call it a yard, but it'll bring up third and three. And Jay, there's no pressure up the middle. All of our pressures Not. come from the outside, so that makes it hard. Correct, a longer way to go. Straight ahead and a big opening up the middle. Oh. And that'll end up in the end zone for number one, Amarian Martin. Coach Will is not going to be happy with that tackling there. 11.22 to go in the second quarter from 11 yards. Omarion Martin. That's his second rushing touchdown. Yes, it is. And the 17 to nothing. Clarkson. Interesting, goes for two, even with a well, place J kicker. Jay, it's the snap. That's, that's the issue. I'm sure it is. Vaughn has Martin back in the backfield. Now the same two receiver to each side set that they've had. And now he switches Martins. Now there's just delay a game. Traveling. <laughs> now they'll kick. You almost wonder if they did that on purpose. Uh, I, I mean, I'm just kind of confused by the tactic. And uh, well, I, yeah, I'm, I wonder if they're working. Yeah, Jay, I go back to the first series when we started this drive. You know, the, the, what, the, was, what was the purpose of the trick? <laughs> number seven, Rainings Awa, a defensive lineman, is the long snapper. Frostaglio is the kicker. This is a one-pointer from the 15-yard line. Snap back was low, and again, they get it through. No, oh, they no, missed no, it. It, it, it went left. Yanked it. So the kick fails. And again, it was the kick was plenty long enough, but the snap dribbled back. And it and was a bit low too, Jay. Was I, was say that I thought they were going to get it, but I, I just the snap was The holder horrible. made the play there by doing a great job fielding that ball that was on the ground. Again. I have no clue who's snapping that, but uh, <laughs> it's a defensive line. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just, well, I mean, but again, obviously, that is not one of the skilled positions uh, for Clarkson. Uh, which again, I'm, I'm just surprised that. Uh, yeah, but you know, it's still early. Someone, we're down a center, and uh, that right. has a, a you know our snapping isn't crisp either. <laughs> quite honestly, 
So it's 17 to nothing. Not the traditional way to get to 17. 8, 11, and 17. <laughs> but for the third time, let's see Clarkson if, in three possessions scores for the third time. Let's see if Lighty can do something or Dower. And I'd love to see a little trick. Maybe they could uh, start one way and let somebody come across the backside, well, perhaps catch one of the guys that, you know, breaking contain. Very consistently. He has kicked it from the right hash to the left side of the field. And that's where Tyshawn Lighty stands at about the seven. Onside kick. Uh oh. Oh, my. And this is return. Oh. I don't. Oh, I think that's an inadvertent whistle. You can't advance a ball on an onside kick. You can't? It's a live ball. I think you're going to have a discussion here, and it's going to come out to be an inadvertent whistle. That wasn't a muff. That was a live no, football. After ten, you're right, after 10 yards. But the question is, like, I think the rule is you, you can't advance it, though. You can, you can recover it. You can't advance it. I've, I've not seen it at the high school level, but I've seen college and pros we, we, return. We, we had that happen last year, and I was kind of, you know, I, okay. I believe the rule is, again, it's after 10 yards. We had one that was that kind of went, didn't go our way against Cleveland Heights, but, no, you, you can't advance it. So they saw something on the film, and it worked out for them. <laughs> it was perfectly executed. Deron right? Watts Perry over the ball now for Lorraine. Jet sweep is DeMontanic. He beats one man to the corner, gets out of bounds after gaining about eight, seven. And there's a flag behind the play. Personal foul face mask. Okay, somebody got a hold of Oziah Jenkins that time and uh, going to march him back. Well, Jay, so far the only thing stopping Clarkson is Clarkson. Clarkson. <laughs> You know, we, we do need some kind of a turnover. I mean, and they're right there, but the, the tough part is, Jay, one more score, and it gets it makes it a long day. It gets tough. I mean, right yep. now you still got a chance if you can do some things. You gotta, yeah, you got a boxer's but, chance here. And, you know, quite honestly, with the kind of speed that Lorraine has, you know, you're always a play from scoring. Yeah. Well, again, I, th I hope the people at home that are watching this, this is a very skilled. I mean, again, they played Menor. It was the half, but they lost 28-15. Menor is and a – it was 21 to 15, and they had the ball driving. The last score was a, a interception <laughs> return. For so Vaughn's got him first and 20 lots. Motion, jet sweep the other way. It's going to be a reverse. Ball oh, on the ground, tight just... ball. There it is, Henry. There's the turn. This, I called it. That's Michael we, Smith, number 52, falls on the loose football. And, Jay, the issue was no, uh, that was going to be a, a, a double, double reverse with pass. a pass. Yeah, yes. yeah. number 23 for uh, Canada. Che uh, Charles, the running back, had snuck out the backs and was wide open. So was Amari and Martin. <laughs> <laughs> so was Amari and, and Martin. And that was when they saw their eyes got big. Yeah. I think uh, number five, Zeth Lindley, is, uh, was – Peeking downfield oh. to see where he was going to heave it. Oh. So it's first and 10 for Lorraine. But, Jay, the they penalty in the turnover. They really need to take advantage. Yeah, they of this. Get, we, we got to put some points on the board. Now there's a whistle. And it looks like there were people signaling up to the. Okay, ball marked ready for play. 11.08 to go set in the second. 17 nothing Clarkson. First and 10 for Lorraine on, their, on the Clarkson 33 following the turnover. Dower and Lighty are stacked over here. Snap back. That's where he's going. Uh -oh. Throws it up for Tyshawn. Oh, he caught it. He caught it. Oh, they're saying. Oh. Well, we, we, you know what? That guy had a much better look than anybody in this place. Oh. Well, well, he juggled it and popped up, but I thought he, I, he was I, able to corral it. it. it we, we're never going to know if he got his arms underneath it. But uh, it was just a, Tyshawn made a, a valiant oh. effort. Yeah. And uh, unless we had a ground camera down there, we'll never know as he was going away from us. And uh, he did have it in his hands, and it did pop in the air. We don't know if it popped in the air. See, it came down well, between them, I think. I think the right, they got it right. End around pass, Devontae Jackson. Intended for Dower, oh. who makes an adjustment on the ball. Carries still it go. down to the five. Dalen Dower from Devontae Jackson. 
You're going to draw them in the dirt. We can do that, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, that one worked. We had one of those against Avon. It didn't work out so well. I was going to say, Devontae still hasn't hit the ground now. He's <laughs> <laughs> throwing one to the offense on one to the defense against Avon. And that was all Dalen Dow oh, making oh, a ball play. His adjustment, and again, there were there were three defenders back there, and the fact that he pulled that down, that was all him. First and goal at the five, Dower and Chavis on either side. Harkness in the slot on the far side. Cam Thomas, 25 near side. Jackson pulls it away from Dower, rolls. Oh. oh, off the hands of Chavis. Just, just, yep. just a little too far. A little more touch would have been right there. But, yeah, it was there, Jay. It was he on kept... the hand. Savon, you know, might have been able to go airborne to catch that. I think he was thinking, I'm going to turn it up and take two steps and be in as well. So. Well, and, again, the challenge is when you're this close, the field gets compressed. And right. And so it, it creates challenges and tough, tough angles. That's the same play that Clarkson ran <laughs> down on the goal line before their first touchdown. Mm -hmm. So second goal from the five. Jack Jackson and Harkness to the far side. Dower in the wildcat, gonna keep it behind Chavis. Throws it to Jackson, touchdown. Wow. Jordan Jackson, <laughs> five yard completion from Dalen Dower. And the Titans capitalize on the turnover you know, Jay, I, I, it worked out, and I called it. We needed a turnover, we got it. We needed a score, we got it. That's something you need. You're staying in the game, at, and that's something uh, you know that we desperately need. Now, let's see. We've got uh, good Rodriguez is out there yep. for the PAT. Esteban Masari is the long snapper. Ethan Nickel, the holder. And Mark Rodriguez, number 16. He's had a five-goal week on the soccer pitch <laughs> this week. High snap, boot away. Tried right. true. You know, something like a royalty ought to come to you every time the Titans <laughs> kick an extra point. As Henry Patterson was the one who discovered and worked with Mark Rodriguez no, all last year. No, I should say that Coach McFarland discovered Mark Rodriguez. I was away, actually. I think I was in Florida or traveling somewhere, California. And uh, Max sees this tall, gangly kid that was a soccer player and said, let me try this. And uh, just, just sight and scenes, kicking him from 40 yards. And I had the good fortune to be able to work with him last year and put some time in. He's a great kid. I, I know he can kick at the next level, but he's a hardworking kid. And so it's exciting. It, just, it feels good uh, you know, for a long time in the rain. We didn't kick extra points around this part. I plan comes together. <laughs> and, but, you know, Henry, you've made the point several times with Clarkson. The thing that you forget about that's so important on that is the long snap. Oh. I think that that's the hesitation to punt, is not uh, not sure you can get the long snap back far enough. Rodriguez sends it bouncing away down to the 30 to one of the up man. That's number 16. Whistle, flag. There's another one. There's another one. <laughs> I think that's Jalen. Cheers, isn't it? Nope. Personal foul. Clarkson. I think it might have been Robert Gonzalez that got cleaned a little bit late there. And so it'll take it back from the 44. Let's see where they end up. 31, okay, it's spot of the foul, so it's actually going to go back to the 29. Okay, and it is going to be first and 25 is the look. Now I'm sure that, no, nope, now they're going to move the sticks back. You know, Jay, honestly, I think we've been fortunate that Clarkson's been a little bit acute. They could just keep on picking us right, apart. Okay. I mean, this this nine-yard cushion is open all day well, and long. They haven't, they haven't pounded the ball. That weight advantage is there. On both sides, there's over the middle, had a man. Dower oh. with a shoulder, but completing across the 50. No wrap, and that's a large receiver, uh, number that's five. number five, Zatelny. Backup quarterback. 
But again, the size of these. And so it'll be first and 10 <laughs> right at the 49 of Lorraine. Can't see. And now there'll be another timeout. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Again, Jay, uh, their passing game, and they've got the, the receivers are sure-handed. They haven't. Right. They haven't put. Well, if it but, gets close, they have time. The quarterback can throw. But it, Jay, again, the challenge is, and and there may be good reason. But if you give them a nine-yard cushion, he can throw every once to throw. And, and quite honestly, you say that their receivers have good good hands. They're, they have not been challenged on a catch yet. I mean, they have been. I know this. Make the catches you're supposed to make. That's there's what there's doing. been no need for them to 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 to, to do so. I mean, again, now on the other side, we have Lighty that almost makes a circus catch. Right. And because it, it was thrown in a tough and coverage. And Dower did. Oh, oh, absolutely. So oh, yeah. first and ten. Here we're set to go right at the 49. Quincy Vaughn, the quarterback, turns, hands it off. Oh. Nothing there. Excellent. Stopped for a loss as Amarian Martin, and. I think Smith was there along with Tracy Williams. You know, Isaiah Jenkins and the tackle on across from him are having a battle <laughs> royal. Clash of the Titans? Is that? Uh, more like WWE. Yeah. <laughs> but that was nice to be able to stop something up the gut. Great job, Titans, defense. Second and 12. On, lots of cushion for Masseri. Brought down across the 50 to the 46, where it'll bring up third down and seven. You know, Jay, I love the toughness of the Titans, but I just I worry about, you know, Dower and Lighty don't and Devontae, they don't come off the field. And Devon you just wonder. Manning coming off now as Lighty's going to try and maybe press a little bit here on this third down. But the, it's the inside receivers that have had the cushion and still do. Chavis cheats over from his safety spot, but they want to come out here to the out, and it's easy pitch and catch. First down, inside the 40 at the 38. Jay, Jay they can down pick seven up and turn six yards at will. It seems um, it's a tin, tinly. Again, I don't think they've missed one of those little out routes today. No, they haven't. Well, it's just it's pregame. It's just the quarterback and the uh, receiver. And he has all day. Trips to the far side now. Movement in the inside of the line. Williams moved but not across. Watts Perry resets over the nose. Jenkins down. They tried to compress a little bit. Vaughn's got, that's a rope. Well, Dower had the best shot at it, but really it was. Led him a little bit too much and the ball was too low anyway. Well, but, you know, actually for the quarterback, that's a good throw because had his man dove, it was really difficult for the receiver to get to. But had he hit had him in no stride. to be intercepted. <laughs> had he hit him in stride. Just made maybe a little bit too much uh, heat on that mm -hmm. one. He really, he really. That, that, that may have been the third incompletion. I believe so. so 8 14 to go, 17 7. Vaughn on second down. He's got that same pattern. Oh. And that was wide open. Oh. Well, that's well, the second time tonight, though. That. Third, second pass early on in the first quarter. Had the exact same thing happened, but it was a longer overthrow. That he was, had that. That was Beckford, number 18. He was back there with Chavis, and he had the inside on Chavis. See, that's the that's the thing in the spread is the Titans are playing with four defensive backs. So nobody's got help over the top. Mm -hmm. And uh, over here, Jackson's got to give a cushion because there's nobody behind him but the official. And that's where he's looking this time. And oh. A little hand fighting. Dave, <laughs> Devontae fell down, and Demontanic was open, but For, oh, was missed. Wide open, yeah. I mean, and I think uh, part of the reason why he didn't get the penalty was because Jackson was on the ground. <laughs> he, said, he said, how can it be defensive pass interference? Well, it, was, it, was, oh. it was back and forth. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's no doubt about that. And there's no five-yard rule in high school. Mm. You can sword fight all the way down the field till the ball's in the air. And that's kind of what happened there is now Devontae comes up again. But he got a release. Look in pattern, too oh, tall. 
Now, this may be why they're working on it. Maybe what we saw was a little bit of an illusion, but that fourth down play has stopped and turning them over on downs. With 7.57 to go, the Titan offense will take over on the 38. And the last two times we've had the ball, Henry, they've generated some offense. No, there's no doubt. Again, I think that hopefully that swagger comes back. they got to have some confidence. But, Jay, what's incredible here that I'm losing, again, not having a punting game. Again, it makes a difference. You can't keep on doing that because now you give the Titans great field position to start and some momentum. And, and we've been there many times before we had that right. issue. I mean, you know, quite honestly, early on, we didn't get that well, this punt is off. The, this is the turnover on the kickoff. Now the Titans will call timeout because they don't have 11. That, that Jay, was going to be the Wildcat. <laughs> and I don't think Jordan was on the field. And they, that was maybe they were missing a receiver. Because Dower was out there with Chavis. Now, now Jay, I, I, you know, what the... Uh, Others back home might not notice either, as I think it's the case still, since I believe the second week of the season, Coach Mack is up in the press box. Right. And if you had any insight, you know, uh, no all idea. the years I've been coaching with him or I've seen him, uh, he's been on the sidelines, and uh, I wonder if he wants to get a better perspective or maybe he's given Killing a chance. But uh, Maybe he likes the pizza. <laughs> But, again, it is a different look. And, uh, again, but, uh, you know, the Wiley veteran, the McFarland, uh, you know. It, it, He's he, got he, Jason Whitehead and, and, well, uh, and I'll Coach Reichley. When, and when Coach I was Stewart. there, again, something else I'll tell you about Coach McFarland. He will, do, he, he will do whatever it takes for this team to be successful. He doesn't care about the title. He cares about the team. Right. So it is the – Wildcat, look, Dower has, he's between Chavis and Lighty. Now he brings Harkness across the formation. That's Cam Thomas out there by himself on the far side, 25 yards wide. Dower calls out the play. Straight ahead, Lighty. Lighty hurdles a man. <laughs> That's, you know, that. I love Tyshawn, and they list him at 5'11", 180. <laughs> I'd love... <laughs> Gee, Henry, what, which part of that are you laughing yeah. at? <laughs> I think the 180. The 5'11 is pretty funny, yeah, too. It's, you could put some shoes on and get that one out. That 180, I don't think. If he was. If well, he's holding a bag of nickels, yeah. maybe. <laughs> now, Cam Thomas goes out with Dower to the far side. Jay, what was exciting about that one was we had some. We actually made some positive yards In up the middle. middle. Yep. Jackson back at quarterback with Chavis. Straight back, wants it, pulls up. Jackson. Across the 40. Nope. Got up to the 45, and he danced. There's a time to surrender there, and he just needed to gain a couple yards and get down. Mm -hmm. You're going to mark him forward progress at the 44. Well, and, and my sometimes with Jordan, I worry too, because sometimes he carries that football like a loaf of bread, and you worry about that. And then you got to be worried about injury. You know, sometimes well, you also you look just... at Jordan, and he runs upright at 6'4". Oh. And, you know, you, you like the long strides till you get in a position like that, and then you want him to compress a little mm -hmm. bit. So it's third down and four. 17-7 with six and a half to go in the first quarter. Uh, Jackson rolls. Jackson pitches. Intended for Lighty. Oh. Roughing the passer is the call. Jordan, Jordan got turfed after he let it go. Number 48, Timo Sheely. He's getting up slowly. He's, He's not, not up at all. He's not getting up. Though. Now he's being helped up. I'm really stunned by the lack of discipline this Clarkson team has shown. I haven't seen this from them. It is a very, Jay, last year, the, the, don't get me wrong, a very skill. Offensively, they're, they're explosive. There's no doubt about it. But again, I, things that I saw last year, their special teams was one of the top special teams I'd seen around. And you're right, we didn't see it. It was the time. Picture this, Jay. Today, it's the Titans that are showing the restraint. I mean, I think that's, that's at least four personal fouls on Clarkson. And Jay, I, I think we were. I, I wasn't. I didn't have a chance to watch the Illyria game, but I know against Brunswick and against Avon, we were plagued by untimely fouls. And right. so tonight, you know, I think we had one, but it was offset. It was an offsetting one. So now off comes Harkness. That's Dower again in the backfield. Got a tight end on the far side, it appears. Whistle. Now Harkness coming back. We didn't have a tight end on the far side. That was the problem. Snap back. Chavis 
The delay helped him. He's down inside the 35. Jay, we were we were very fortunate that Harkness didn't get whistled there because there how was that, definitely a twitch. How that didn't end up being something with the uh, chaos that ensued, but. And then even the handoff was a little bit delayed. Look, look they, and it's fortunate because the delay worked well for Savon, who got eight yards on first down. Now Dower comes back out in the Wildcat. Jordan's fine. He's on the sideline. When I say he's fine, he was helped up earlier in the series, but he appears to be walking fine. Well, I always worry about, you know, as we used to say, getting your bell rung because right. now that's serious. Concussions are a serious thing today. Now Chavis is going to switch sides. Two backs to the far oh, wow. side. They're going to lead Dower around the corner, they hope. Dower down she towards the, the sticks. The hardest thing about those sticks is learning you got to let them go. <laughs> And that's, I mean, seriously, that's the Bubba Smith rule. Um, if you remember Bubba Smith before the uh, Moses Hightower Naked Gun movies, um, <laughs> he was an all-time great defensive end for the Baltimore Colts. Who career was ended by a yard marker on, really? the, on the sidelines. It ripped his knee to shreds. And that's why they're at least three yards off now. But... So now we have Jackson back on third and a long yard. Would think that he's going to oh, pitch and catch to Lighty. Lighty turns it up. Lighty's inside the 20, the Joe Bach red zone. You know, and again, for Jordan Jackson, he just has to realize if you get the ball, give Lighty a chance to do something with the ball. And, and he usually is going to make that catch. Right. I mean, you know, Dower did a nice job uh, on contain in pass protection. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, again, so what, what you're seeing tonight is, and I think they're going to have to roll the pocket to the right and right. the left because the problem is that the, the pocket by under center just collapses. Right. So that yeah, was effective. You take half the line out of it when you roll out. So now Jackson's between Dower and Chavis, twins to the left. Jackson over here, and that's who he wants. Devontae had it dropped at contact after the – Touch by number 24, Peter Kameni, made a very nice defensive play. This Clarkson is, this is the fourth time on the road, and they've been second time in a, two weeks for, to uh, Ohio, and I believe they've had two weeks in Pennsylvania. Well, yeah, well, they play, yes, they played Silver Oak, Maryland. That oh, was Maryland, first, Maryland. Okay. it was Maryland Cathedral Prep and then Menor. So, yeah, Pennsylvania, Ohio, and twice, yeah, twice in Ohio, and once Pennsylvania, once in Maryland. But they beat that team 79-0, Jay. Right. So trips to the far side now. Lighty and Dower inside of Thomas. Jackson's going to throw the bubble. Dower tried to make a move, and there's just too much flow. He's going to get two. 4.45 to go. It's going to bring up third and eight. at the 16. Dower almost made something happen there, actually. Tried. <laughs> One guy with the 35. Very, the you know, the, the, the discipline to force him back to the middle was important for that Clarkson defense that time because that's where the help comes from. Third and let's call it eight. Dower again out of the backfield. It's Chavis and Jackson. Jackson straight back. Look for Lighty. Oh. It's intercepted down inside the five. <laughs> 21, Malcolm Bell. And that was honestly just kind of a throw it up and hope your receiver makes a play kind of deal. Yeah, I wish he had that one back. Whistle and is an injured also. And yeah, that's Dale and Dower if... My eyes aren't playing tricks on me. So it's going to be the ball just outside the five on the turnover. I mean, you'd like to got the fourth down before you, you know, threw it up for grabs, and yeah. that one was in the traffic. Well, as a special team guy, I was quietly rooting for if they didn't get it, given Mark Rodriguez a chance. It wouldn't happen. but <laughs> It wouldn't have happened with the backup snapper. Oh, that's true, yeah. So the time on the field is out. There's exactly four minutes to go in the half. Dower got planted wow. over the middle. Again, you know, like we said, there is no pass interference. 
contact rules until the ball is in the air. And if we run that one more time, you'll see Dalen Dower on the backside. Right about the 10 yard line in the middle of the screen. Oh. Right there. Wow, he launched into him. Yeah. Oh, my Lord. He got blindsided. That's a penalty in the NFL for a you know, defenseless receiver. You know, Jay, you were talking earlier about the chain gang. I, I've had occasion to serve on that from time to time, and, and it's harder than it looks oh, because, much- because, again, not only are you doing it, but you're watching the game. Right. And, and sometimes your part is kind of like a fight or flight. If you get you, paralyzed when they're like, what do I do? <laughs> if so- you ever get drafted for the chain gang, your response is, I'll do it if I can be the clip guy. <laughs> because the clip guy's job is each time they reset it, he puts a clip along the closest yard line so that they have something to line it up with when they bring in. Now, the defense has got to step up here. First and 10 on the five for Clarkson straight ahead, looking for a spot and getting oh, they got a tackle. seven or eight yards there after contact is Martin. And there was lots of bumping, but no tackling. Well, the, Jay, they made first contact probably about the line of scrimmage. Right. And they were probably... Masari it, and Chavis ended up on the tackle. At least three opportunities to make that tackle. And you... You get worried again. This, these issues of wrapping up the old fundamentals, it gets hard to do. And with the numbers and things like that, they don't do a lot of live hitting during practice. Again, one-on-one over here to the near side, but the give again is to Martin. Oh, Cheers missed, had a shot in the backfield and missed him, and now he's free. Uh, oh. Out of bounds, fortunately. That is, again, come film tomorrow. Cheers is not going to be pleased with what happened there. Out to there. the 33. You, you, you had him stop for a loss probably in the backfield and don't make the tackle. And it, lo- it looks to me like we're getting our heels pinned to the ground here. And, you know, no matter what your uh, sport is, you can't move with your heels on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be first and 10 at the 33. 3.16 to go. Clock stopped on the out of bounds. Sudden change defense right here. Oh. Big hole up the middle. Is that Charles? I need another. Jay Charles, 23, is out across the 45 to the 48. Gain of 15. That was a wide hole up the oh. middle. I don't know whether they were able to trap a Blitzing backer or something. We'll see here. The backer came and just got one on one, well, and he ran right through, through that hole. The guard tackles. They sealed to the outside. Right. He made a move and just went up there. And, and, and arm tackle. Those guys are big enough. Is not going to bring him down. Right. That wasn't a little fellow. That was the <laughs> Charles, the big back, and that's fake to him. And oh, that hole was open there. Pass complete down to the 35-yard line. Again, Jay. Chavis and Manning on the tackle. As I look at Clarkson, sometimes they just, they've been getting too cute. They can I run agree. the ball up the middle, and they can hit these little passes. I mean, I, I, it, it almost it, felt like at 17 to nothing, they felt like they had this game under control and they could work on things. Mm-hmm. I, I agree. Two and a half to go, second quarter. Ball will snap. Straight back, Vaughn's got a man out on the flank, one-on-one with Chavis, down the sidelines and out of bounds. Number 12, Jet Zakrzewski. Uh, again, Jay, it's, oh. a bro- it's a broken Excuse record. Excuse me, 18, Beckford was the receiver. It's been a broken record this first half. If you're going to give them a nine-yard cushion, he's going to make Well, it. it's very difficult to cover five guys with five guys, mm-hmm. and the Titans are dedicating six up tight uh, to try and get some pressure or contain the run, and they're just taking what's given. Like number 18 right now. Well, now they're pressing a little bit this has time. has a 20-yard we'll cushion in the middle over here because it's the safety. Oh. That's where they're going to go. Yep. They went to the inside, man. There's a flag. Let's see if this is holding for the one that they missed. <laughs> the first down is inside the 10. At the eight. The guilt on the initial blockers body language (laughs) might have called this second penalty. Blakely's going to come back for uh, Watts Perry now. Was there a call? Okay, it's 10 yards from the spot of the foul, so it's going to turn out to be a gain of two. 
It's going to be first and eight at the 22. 153 to go in the half. Clock spinning. Straight ahead, Charles. Okay. Zaya Jenkins held on from his end spot. Mike Smith there, along with Jalen Cheers. Timeout situation. Clarkson has all three. Lorraine has no desire to see it stop. <laughs> Second and about six. That'll Movement on the tight in front. I think Tracy Williams rocked forward again. Now they're talking to Blakely. Everybody's faking a blitz here. That's Dower up from the safety. Now he drops back. Vaughn wants an out. Now he looks back to the middle. He looked looked the safety off well, but Dower didn't bite. You know that and that was a throwaway. That touch over the middle. That's been that's the one area where he's not been crisp. Right. Again. To the outside, uh, he's got to be 80% plus accurate. In the middle of the field is where he's kind of struggled a bit. So we've been, we've been fortunate. I mean, uh, he, he's had receivers open, Jay, most of the time. Clock stopped, 57 seconds to go, third and seven for Vaughn and football north. Snap. Got some pressure. Jenkins is chasing him, but Jenkins isn't going to catch him. Pitches it inside. <laughs> Look at this. There's a flag way behind the play as Martin goes into the end zone, but everybody is signaling that it's a penalty on Clarkson. That's got to be. And I think Tracy pass the line. was. He was past the line of scrimmage. Was he? Okay. Isn't that the. Yeah, he threw it at the 20. And again, it's these penalties. Because he had a first down. Well, on the I, run. No matter what. And, and quite honestly, when uh, I was a little concerned with Dower when he had the touchdown to Jackson. Uh, it was close. It was very close. So uh, that takes it back five yards, makes it. More importantly, it takes a touchdown off the yeah. board. <laughs> makes it at the 25, third and about 10. 45 seconds to go in the half. I'd like to stop this just to see if they try a placement. Over the middle, we're not going to stop it. Pitch and catch made. That's Brandon Masseri, first and goal, and he was very open. Titans went, <laughs> Titans went to a two-deep zone there, and they found a hole right in the middle of it. Well, a good can't. read by Vaughn. And the, now they'll take their first time, er, time out with 38 seconds to go, and the ball spotted. Just inside the five, it looks to be at about the four. Well, Jay, I wonder if they're going to do anything different with that coverage because if, if I'm if I'm uh, Clarkson, I, I, well, it's death by a thousand paper cuts yeah. is what it is. We're trying to keep people in front of us. I, well, the, but, and we're succeeding in that, but they're, they're open. But again, <laughs> the field condenses. My, I, I don't know. I, I feel. I mean, I don't think they're going to run. If I'm Clarkson, I'm looking at the clock. I want to get a score. I don't have any confidence in my snapping game. So I would I you know go for some more of those out routes you, you with uh, 38 seconds to go you can try two of those three well they of can those. do whatever they want here on the four at first down because they have two timeouts quite honestly they've seemed to uh, favor the run down here mm -hmm. yeah Martin's got two scores on the ground and you look at some of those offensive linemen coming <laughs> up and you see why. 63, Justice Stevens, the left tackle, is a man. Gives straight ahead to Martin. He's going to get one-on-one. On one. There they go, Titans. Nice job by Savon battling until uh, the friends came along. Javon Manning came up to help, and they get him out of bounds at about the three, but that stops the clock with 29 seconds, and they don't have to use a timeout. Chavis was in no man's land. But then Javon Manning came up and helped him out. Bailed him out, actually. <laughs> but, he, but he strung it out long. But I was right. worried that he's so shifty, he could have cut back. Very skilled back. I, like I said, I believe he's a sophomore. 29 seconds to go. Martin again. Oh! Nope, that's the quarterback with it. Vaughn has it, and he's going to get in. Yep. Nicely done on the ball fake. Half the Titan defense hit Martin, and with 23 seconds to go, that's the backbreaker from four yards out. Uh, 
Vaughn makes it 23-7 to with the conversion attempt to come. Now they'll go to double receivers. They'll look for two. Interesting. <laughs> the last time they did this, they... Okay, there's two men signaling on the sideline. If it's to believe, they're going to run an alligator and some birds. The way they oh. signaled. Vaughn has a man in the back of the end zone and threw it up right where it had to be. And that makes it 25 to 7. Clarkson with 23 seconds to go in the first half. And a backbreaker as the Titans were down in the red zone. Turn it over, and Clarkson takes it 94 yards for a back-breaking score because they get the ball coming out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, again, turnovers in the red zone have been a challenge for Lorraine. And you, just, and you, you can't do those things at all, but against talented teams, you really can't. And, and you had some momentum. You know, This is going to be real tough. Who knows? Maybe we can make some magic happen here. i got to imagine Clark, Clarkson's going to kick the ball on the I carpet. I cannot <laughs> believe that they'll put it in the air. Uh, I would think that I would be looking for Esteban Masari, number 60, right in the middle of the field to handle this. Or at least to have it targeted at him. Yeah. Lighty and Dower are back at the five. Now, the last time that they kicked off uh, was an onside kick that they picked up, and the Titans battled through that with a stop, and then the offense moved the ball about 50 yards and before the third down interception. Dawson Dodges will put it in play, number nine. Line drive kick's going to hit it about the 11. Go to Dalen Dower, starts up straight ahead. Had a little bit of a gap at about the 20 and gets out to the 26. Ball came loose after he bounced on the turf. So 13 seconds left to play. Let's see how the Titans elect to play this. The ball is spotted at the 26-yard line. Does and I, I'm thinking, Henry, you know, just as a, you know, just hit me that this is probably the last Lorraine Clarkson game for a while as this week next year Garfield will be Heights. conference play. Yeah, Garfield Heights, right, yeah. Right. So one and one is the series. Clarkson on top here, 25 to 7. 13 seconds to go in the half. Jet sweep to light show. He's got the corner. Just too much pursuit. Got out to about the 35-yard line, and the clock is going to run out there as he got about eight, and that's the end of the first half. We've played two at the George. Football North, 25, Lorraine 7. Back with the Lorraine High School Band halftime show right after this timeout. Sergeant Michelle Garcia served meritoriously in Iraq and has the medals to prove it. Soon after leaving the Navy, Lieutenant Chris Scott found a job, a home, and started a family of his own. Corpsman Richard Stokely took the skills he learned in Vietnam and put them to good use as a paramedic. But soon after leaving the military, each of these veterans fell on hard times and faced homelessness. Even after Michelle lost all her savings, even after Chris wasn't able to pay his mortgage, and even after Richard battled alcoholism for years, they each reached out for help when they needed it most. A simple phone call put them in touch with a trained professional from the Department of Veterans Affairs. That call got Michelle a place to stay until she could afford one of her own, put Chris in touch with employment assistance, and found Richard a substance abuse program. These veterans are success stories not only for how they were able to help others while serving their country, but for how they were able to let others help them. If you know of or are a veteran in need, make the call.
little superhero looks pretty happy. Yes, he does. I've been teaching him that eating healthy will make him grow up strong. It's so important that we both encourage him to eat healthy and exercise regularly, and that we live that way in front of him. You know, it's never too early to start. I wish I'd eaten healthy when I was his age. Yeah, maybe if you had, you would have developed some special powers also. 92% of kids and teens have a poor diet, but you can change that. Teach your kids the importance of healthy eating in a language they can understand. Can I go to the sleepover? Lucy? I want you to promise me something. If there's any drinking, I want you to say, no thanks, not my thing. Mom. I promise you, your real friends won't care. Deal? I promise, Mom. They really do hear you. Did you pack your toothbrush? For tips on how to start the talk, visit underagedrinking.samsa.gov. A public service message from the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration.
Every year, the Salvation Army serves nearly 30 million people in need. That's one person every second. So by the time you've finished watching this, 30 more lives will have been changed for good. All thanks to your donations. Thank you. The Warriors to Work program makes it possible for wounded warriors and their families to build new lives together. When my dad left, I was like this big, but I'm like this big. My dad got a master's degree in human resources. Thanks to Warriors to Work, that my dad has a terrific job. The Wounded Warrior Project helps him by, you know, giving him another start. Now that my dad's home, I get a lot more hugs. I'm really proud of him. Find out more about Wounded Warrior Project at findwwp.org. Welcome home, the brave. Stop. Whether it's on the way to school, at school, or online, bullying has become a non-stop threat to our youth today. Is your child being bullied? The National Runaway Switchboard can help. If you're having a hard time, get online or call to chat now. Back here at George Daniel, ready to start the second half. Clarkson Football North all over Lorraine, 25-7. Clarkson will kick from the north end. Total yards, 288 for Clarkson, 108 for Lorraine. And quite honestly, the hidden stat is that Clarkson has at least five personal foul penalties in the first half. Boot is away. Inside the five at the goal line. Call it the one-yard line for Tyshawn Lighty. Lighty makes a move out across the 20. Again, Jay, their coverage team is that that's very good well, coaching. What a, they never gave him a chance right up the middle. The first guy missed, secondary guy filled like you're supposed to. Distance and height together allow your coverage team depth. <laughs> and that's what quite, quite honestly what they're getting. I mean, in the past, Lorraine has maybe caught a kickoff at the 10 or 12-yard line, um, which puts the coverage team that much shorter. Yeah, Jackson I, out at quarterback the whole while. Well, we've had some Lighty and uh, Dower sightings in the mm -hmm. Wildcat. He's got Chavis in the backfield with him. Devontae Jackson out wide to the right. Trips to the near side. Cam Thomas is outside of Dower and Harkness. Jackson straight back. Now he rolls away from pressure. Pulls it down. Cuts back across the field. Makes a move. Gets a block from Dower. Gets out to the 29. <laughs> That was a lot of running for eight, uh, seven yards, Jay. <laughs> well, you know what? Oh, nine let's yards. See, let's see where they put him. I think they're going to put him at the 29, so it's going to be eight. eight. Second and two. He made a nice move, and I'll give the discipline credit there. When you change sides of the field, that's when you get the illegal blocks yeah. and stuff. Well, I want to know how McFarland feels about his quarterback running that way across the middle of the field because that can end well. That sometimes does not end well. Jackson and Chavis. Cam Thomas alone on the short side here. Gives straight ahead. Save on. Tried to get out to the so maybe a yard is what it looks like. Referee stops the clock, so it's maybe. And they're going to signal first down. They're going to give him the benefit of the mm -hmm. doubt to the 31. He was met quickly by Mitchell Price, and that's a, a load of man, too. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we've noticed him several times. That's big number 76, isn't it? No, that's 97. Oh, 97? Yeah. That's, that's 77's younger brother, but okay. uh, he's not. <laughs> he's doing battle with Beyond. Pitch to Perfect pitch. Chavis. Inside, across the 40, out to the 45. Submarine there by 22, Devin Cromwell. But 13, 14 yards on first down, and they'll move the sticks again. Jay, I believe Harkness was on the outside with some great blocking that we'll allowed that to happen because the pitch was quick. But, Jay, again, if you look at what Chavis did, he cut up faster. Yeah, and, and Harkness had him out block, and I'll give Big Beyond Smith credit. 
he maintained contact for a long time along Chavis to get outside. That's what Lorraine needs to do again on that option, was you need to attack directly and you got to seal that defense. Because if that tackle comes down, you can't do anything. I mean, well, they, that's sealed, they sealed the corner with the tackle that time. That's something they haven't been able to do in the first half. Trips to the near side. Jackson rolls that way. Jackson squares, pitches to Lighty. Spin move, cross the 45. Balls the down, football. ball. Oh, I no. think it out of bounds. Well, oh, oh, luck. We were very, very fortunate lucky there. Very lucky because White ended up with the football in the person in number 35, Jaden Griffins, but he was laying on the sideline when he did. And so, yeah. <laughs> it's a good thing there's not replay. <laughs> well, there is. Yeah, for, well, us. for us, there is. Here's the roll. Makes a move, spin move. That's the X button. Has it punched away. We kick it. Yeah. And it, it's behind the uh, number 64 with the block of the night. Well, Cade Cole, number 10, came across from the backside. Punched and it out, I, I yeah. mean, that was just, that was a great defensive play. Well, if you're going to come back, you need some breaks. And they got one there. That's Jalen Cheers in the backfield now with Dower. I, I'd love to see uh, uh, Jordan take a deep one with Lighty. A flyer, air it up. Oh. I think Jackson's his deep guy. Over the middle, intended for Lighty. There was a lot of defense in, in there. The linebackers got good drops. You know, and every now and again, if you notice, Jordan went to that sidearm throw that well, time. Especially, yeah. But on the move, he's got to stop and, and square up. And, and So second and 10. Clock stop, 9.59 to go third quarter. 25-7, Clarkson. Now Thomas here on the short side by himself. Jackson, Dower, and Lighty from outside in on the far side. Jalen cheers next to Jackson. That almost tells me that this is a pass. <laughs> and there it is. It's the bubble screen low. Devontae Jackson pulled it off the turf. Was that Devontae or was it Dower? What was Devontae? Devontae Jackson. Yeah, who's the outside guy? And he got about eight or nine. That was a nice play. A little bit. A little bit low on the pass. He pulled it off the shoe tops there. If he, if it had been a little bit higher, he might have been able to take that outside, which is where the blocks were leading him. And, and Jay, I'll tell you, Devontae Jackson is a is an outstanding athlete. There's not yes, much he, he can't do. I mean, he you're, is very skilled. You're you're correct. Motion now. Dower jet sweep to Dalen. Going to get the corner in the first down. 30, 25, 20. Outside got a block. Dalen Dower. Oh. Touchdown, Dalen Dower to the house. <laughs> 32 yards. I was waiting. When you hit the pylon, you're supposed to be in. But the, well, the official on the on the sideline got trapped. Titans get the corner for one of the few times. Day one Dower. And I'm wondering, 32. Uh, is the Clarkson defense getting a little tired? Because early on in the first quarter, they weren't able to do that. Right. Snap, hold, and good by Masari, Nickel, and Rodriguez. And the Titans close it to 25-14. Okay. That's exactly what you need to do in that first. Now, if the defense can get a stop, Oh, Henry, Again, that last touchdown with 23 seconds oh. left is going to come back all night. We're going to say what if. Well. Could be, you know, 17-14. And we were in the red zone. That could have been to go ahead theoretically. Well, there's still a lot of game left. Yes. But, again, Lorraine's got to step up. and But, but you, you know what, but, Jay, but that's exactly what you need if you're going to have a chance in this game because had we not had a good drive there, that's when the, you start doubting yourself, kids start hanging their heads, and it's hard to come back from that. So, again, you're right back in this game. You can do something, and you're playing some respectable football. So I don't, I don't know. I think that's the first time this year they've run the jet sweep to Dower. It's been run to Lighty a few times, including the last play of the first half. So Rodriguez will put it in play from the 40 at the south end. 9.13 to go, third quarter. A little bit of life here from the Titan fans as well. Approaching and instepping it, bouncing along the turf, covered nicely at the 40. Uh-oh, there's a good solid form tackle at the 47. See if we can get a number there. 
Jalen, uh, no, number 18, Tavion Black with that tackle. Tavion came to the district last year. Uh, he uh, runs track uh, here at Lorraine and uh, was excited to see him playing some football as well, too. His cousin. Likely over the ball, Jenkins and Williams the ends. Masari and Smith are the inside backers. Charlton and Cheers are the outside backers. Jackson and Manning are the outside guys. That's Make the nice job there by Latrell Charlton. Came up, maybe the hit was a little bit high, but he <laughs> held on and waited well, for friends. Well, and it's a good thing because he would have ran through, actually did run through the tackle. He made the first contact and slowed him down. He should have stopped him right there, well, but again. Well, first off, Latrell's another one of those guys that I don't know what they list him at, but it's a lie. <laughs> well, they list him at 156 and, pounds. And That's probably fact. Jump pass there. Old Tim Tebow looked for a first down. Mike Smith coming back from the linebacker spot. That's what happens when you control the middle of the field is you can make that pass. Well, well, Jay, again, there is zero pressure up the middle. It's coming from the outside. He has enough time for a full three-step drop, and you've got yep. open receivers. It's and That was number 80 who's not on the roster. Straight back. Vaughn wants it all to that same guy, and he's got him. And in for the touchdown. That was a beautiful pass and catch. <laughs> No laundry, it's going to be 42 yards. Nicely done with 8-12 left. In a minute and one, that's how they quickly they answered. And this was just, I'm faster than you, quite honestly. And quite honestly, Jay, that's the, he probably could have had three more of those tonight. That time he put enough air into the ball right. and let his receiver run underneath it. And the lack of pressure just allows him to stand in there and, and throw. I mean, the, that big offensive. Now they're going to line up for a placement. We haven't done this yet. The holder is Braden Masseri, the receiver. Number nine, Dawson Dodges, who kicks off, will attempt the placement. Now 19, Fristaglio kicked the field goal. Thirty-one fourteen. Good snap, a little bit slow, but the kick is up and through. So it's thirty-two fourteen. Clarkson, each team with seven on their first possession of the second half. Again, Jay, that I just. I, I'm, Got to be concerned about the Titans because when you have one of those big plays, you just all that momentum, all that excitement that you just had, now it all comes back and you start right. doubting yourself. So, again, you know, the, the Titans have to score on this drive, and then you got to – something's got to happen. you got to stop them somehow because, really, we've only had that one drive, Jay, I believe, that we didn't uh, – that, we, that they, we, we've been able to stop them. So, that's got to change. I'm not even close. On the 50-50. Oh, I'm better off than that. I was within a thousand now. Steve Cawthon, the field announcer, calling off the 50-50 and game ball prizes here now. Unsportsmanlike after the conversion. So, <laughs> quite honestly, Clarkson's just about walked to the Ambassador Bridge. <laughs> Well, and quite honestly, Clarkson is, has given Lorraine every opportunity to stay in this game. I mean, with these penalties, if, if it's, it's sad because had we really been able to capitalize on it, I mean, we've had yeah. some chances, Jay. So they'll kick from the 25. That brings Lighty and Dower. That's Chavis and Dower up outside the 20. Lighty catching his breath with Devontae Jackson on the bench. They both only come out for special teams. Lighty or Dower rather, 30. 35 makes an assertive move. Gets, gets a block. Got a hole. He's out to midfield before they ride him down across the 50. That is encouraging. Again, starting on the other, on the other side of the 50. We know we're in four down territory. <laughs> <laughs> Which pretty much happens when you have the ball. <laughs> 
So it starts right at the 49. It'll be first and 10 for the Titans. There's some tired guys coming off, made the more tired by the uh, touchdown. Yeah. Now Thomas and Lighty. You know, and that's tough because the guys down you know, in the trenches and your linebackers, they think they're doing their job, and then, bam, you, you lose everything on one. So right. it's, it's, I've been there before. Now, different look here. Cam Thomas is the inside receiver. Lighty, the outside guy. Double pass. Devontae Jackson wants Tyson Lighty. Oh! Touchdown to the house! <laughs> Did you see that one-handed grab? I, I thought he overthrew him, and I said, no, no, no. But yeah. he, but Lighty, the athleticism of Lighty, just the 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 awareness uh, that he's just special. There's things he can do that most high school play, many many college players can't do. Look at this, Jay. Well, this you know we noticed the the different formation, and that was why to bring Devontae off the line, well, and that's oh. just quite honestly Odell Beckham line. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Talented. I don't know what the word is. Is it Beckhamish or? <laughs> I think that's offense it. out for the Titans now. Fully loaded backfield. Turn and look. They got a quick pass in, and Cam Thomas has got the two point conversion. Let's step away for a moment, and we'll be back after this timeout. We make Marines who overpower the desire to quit with the perseverance to prevail, not for glory, but for honor. For a code that isn't written or spoken, but lived. It's what we do, it's who we are. It's the battle cry of our fighting spirit. Battles won. See all the battles Marines fight to win at Marines.com. Ohio State is saving lives every day. This is Ohio State. We're the economic engine of the state. A major employer. Over 60,000 students. We're on the forefront of cancer research. An educational core of Ohio. Impacting tens of thousands daily. Our alumni organization is nearly half a million worldwide. This is Ohio State. This is Ohio State. Ohio State. Ohio State. This is the Ohio State University. Veterans benefits earned through your service in the National Guard or Reserve can offer a range of support. I wouldn't be here today as a successful woman without the help that I receive. From home loans to job training, go to benefits.va.gov slash guard reserve to find out more, even how to apply online using eBenefits. This is one of the best things I ever did in my life. We were very fortunate to have these benefits, so we definitely ought to use them. Achieve your next mission. Learn about your VA benefits today. Back here at Lorraine High, and last week all we had was a 90-minute rain delay. <laughs> this week we had something really bizarre. Lorraine had just scored on a 49-yard double pass from Devontae Jackson, Devontae Jackson to Tyshawn Lighty, who made a spectacular one-handed one catch. Gra Left-handed grab, no less. And then on the two-point conversion, Jordan Jackson converted uh, – fade pass to an uncovered Cameron Thomas, and it was 32-22. At the end of that extra point, and do we have that, fellas? As we stand by, we're going to show you a little bit of why we are where we are and why you see final. Here's the play. Jackson fakes, pushes there, and the offensive lineman for Lorraine gets thrown to the turf Maybe in the by backfield <laughs> by the helmet, and then there's some pushing and shoving, and uh, this game, which had been so chippy anyhow, uh, came to a conclusion as the officials declared an end with 7.54, and the final score will go into the books as 32-22 Clarkson win. We'll go through the scoring plays here. This is how things transpired. Clarkson got the opening kickoff. Everything worked. <laughs> on a 67-yard opening march, and it culminated with a one-yard run straight ahead into the end zone. And the two-point conversion here makes it eight to nothing. Clarkson came back on their next possession after a Lorraine four and, uh, turnover on downs, kicked a field goal 
from 29 yards, and it was the odd score of 11 to nothing. <laughs> and we got back to normal as on their third possession, they get their third score. And this one, again, is the Martin. little scat back. Martin. Martin uh, from 11 yards. They missed the conversion, and it's 17 nothing. Titans on the board here. Dower on a pass <laughs> to Jackson. Yeah. I was going to say, who would believe if you had two touchdown passes <laughs> for Lorraine in the game, and one of them came from Dalen Dower, and the other one came from Devontae Jackson. Jackson. Then Clarkson just before the half on a keeper. That was the backbreaker with 23 <laughs> seconds to go, made it 25 7. Here's the extra point for two. It's just a Dwight Clark throw it up high and let him go get it play. And that's how we ended the first half. Lorraine got the uh, opening kick, and Dalen Dower on a jet sweep from 32 yards got a nice block by his buddy uh, Tyshawn Lighty and Cam Thomas and took it in. And the Titans closed to 25 14, but with the extra point Mark Rodriguez adds. But in a 61 <laughs> seconds later, Vaughn looks deep, and he's got a man. And when it's over, he's laying in the end zone, 42 yards, and then the kick made it 32-14. Titans returned the kickoff to the 49-yard line on the first play. It's the double pass. Devontae Jackson to Tyshawn Lighty, and he's going to take it to the house. And the Titans lined up to go for two and cut the lead to 10. Here is the play that started the beginning of the end. Cam Thomas is wide open, catches the ball, but the Titan left tackle, who we're not sure who it was, but he got bulldogged, I guess is the, <laughs> the rodeo term. When you 66, Colin Thomas was the Titan who got grabbed either by the face mask or shoulder pads and flipped around, and uh, chaos ensued, and yeah. the official said... Uh, this is out of our pay grade. We're done for the evening. So with 7.54 to go in the third quarter, this contest ends with 54 points, and the Titans on a short end, 32-22. to 22. Henry, uh, not to take away from their ability, because this is probably the most talented team we've played this year. Yeah, I, no doubt about it. Um, uh, you know, and, again, that, what's so frustrating, and, and it, I, they were the superior team. If you watch this game, there's, there's no doubt about it. But I, I really wish we could have finished thing up. I mean, those back-to-back -back scores, they were playing aggressively. I, I think I, I was maybe, I had said earlier, maybe the Clarkson defense was tiring. We were starting to get around the corner. Uh, I, I wish I could have seen the rest of this game. But there's no doubt they were talented. But, uh, again, we had said early in the first half, the number of personal fouls, they just kept on going up. You're not, I'm not Isn't really surprised. It's sad, but I'm not surprised that it ended this way because it had just been, it'd been that kind of game, unfortunately. It wasn't, and they were weren't just uh, personal fouls. They were <laughs> of the way after the penalty, kind of cheap shot is the term I want to use type thing, just like that last one was. And, and uh, you know, again, you're, you're playing, you know, a team from six hours away, so they're not efficient, you know. And, Jay, I, wonder, I, I do believe the rule in Canada, I think you have 19-year-olds that can play as well. Oh, you and, do. And I just wonder – if you have again, nonetheless, you know, my, the frustrating part is this is still high school football. Right. There, there, I, I really believe in sportsmanship. I know Coach McFarl McFarland believes in, in sportsmanship. So you just hate for this to happen. You hate for these kids to miss out on play. Because again, it's about the game. And when something like with those teachable things happen, moments, Henry, yeah, that's I mean, what we talk yeah. about in education. And we had one there, quite honestly. And because uh, one of the things you learn when you play high school sports is how to deal with frustration. Oh, absolutely. Well, you, again, you, you win and lose with class and dignity. Right. And you know, I think back to my high school football days when at the uh, old Admiral King High School, and I played on a football team that went into the last week of the season 0-9. And instead, and many kids, many kids quit and shut down. But we finished that last game, and we won, and finished the season one nine, one and nine. I always tell people I've had a lot of success in life, but I learned more about life and about 
about how things don't work out and to keep fighting in that one more proud of, of sticking it out in that one and nine season and to me that's what you learn from high school sports it's those values and the and the, the friendships you make and the commitment that's what's important so when you see something like this it's just, it's just really disappointed how many kids didn't get a chance to play tonight I, so I, I just I, I'm, I'm frustrated right. that it happened you know it, you know who started is is irrelevant it's just sad it that it got yeah. to that point you know it, it, it just it's it's a it's a loss and it shouldn't happen to anybody or any team well it happens so suddenly henry that we don't have the names of all the people who from club tv 20 who helped get us on the air and keep us there and unless maybe well, that's the stats from halftime there it is okay so i apologize damian Contreras, sunda steve elizabeth husky thomas colasar cody lacente jamal massey christian mcclin cole Guinness White McCollum and Jaden Wright. I saw Joe Vaughn up here. Did he help out a little bit? Or? Oh, yeah, yeah. Joe Vaughn was okay. helping out with the pizza, actually. I <laughs> Joe saw. Vaughn helped out with the pizza. Okay. <laughs> you know, Terry Trout, Bob Schlenbaker, Joe Bach, Mrs. Joe Bach. <laughs> And, and Jay, there's there's another announcement that you forgot about as you ran down all those What's things that? It, on the car. Someone had a birthday today. Oh yeah. That would be the Dr. Jay Ferguson. Yeah, Happy thank birthday! You. Thank Happy you. birthday! Sixty-four. And uh, hopefully many more. That's but right. Appreciate it. Uh, end of a strange birthday, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Memorable. So until next week, for all of those aforementioned folks, for my partner Henry Patterson, this is Jay Ferguson reminding you that it is a great time to be a Titan. This has been a production of Lorraine City Schools, TV20, WLCS.